Hello, I'm Dr. Ira Kirschenbaum. In this entire video library, we'll be demonstrating some real uses and tips on how to use an EMR or an electronic medical record. Doctors have been using medical records for centuries. Whether writing on papyrus or paper, nothing has really changed until the digital age. Making a transition to digital medical records can be challenging. The goal of the OMG EMR tutorials is to make sure the EMR that you have is integrated into your daily practice so you can achieve your practice goals in all areas, whether that's improving medical care, saving money, saving time, publishing papers, quality charting, or any number of goals you may have. The focus here is on practical application and things you hopefully can use today and for many years to come. Throughout this tutorial and through many others, we'll be making reference to this book, which is the OMG EMR template book, in Orthopedics. This is a 350 page book with over 700 templates in orthopedics. Templates, smart text, forms, operative reports, notes, physical therapy, as well as orders. Um, this can be gotten at www.omgemr.com and the book itself is also online with hundreds of more templates on the online service. So what is an EMR and how does it compare to your previous medical record? An EMR in many ways is the same as your previous medical record in that you're storing medical information. But the difference is it can be organized, searched, sorted, and retrieved in so many powerful ways. Think, for example, of your old paper photo albums like we have on the screen here, okay? Now, what we had in the old days, not so long ago, you had various photos on every page of varying sizes, and then one day you had another photo you wanted to move into here. Well, you'd have to remove this photo, move it somewhere else. Plus, when you finished on that page, you would end up going to another page. When you wanted to find all your old photos, you'd have to go to the many albums, try to find the one that had the picture you remembered, and it was very difficult to access that, okay? But think what you do now, okay? Now, what you end up doing is you end up using digital software, such as uh, this particular one, which is Picasa. You would see that you have this image and that image. Think of these as images you could then move, if you want to, into this file or that file. Plus, you can use a search function, okay, and you could find any of these images that have certain criteria. Essentially, a photo album type of situation that's digital is very similar to electronic medical record. They allow you to search, sort, organize, and edit. It doesn't make you a better physician, just as digital software doesn't make you a better photographer. It just allows you have access and do quite a number of different things with the medical information and search and sort and access it so much better. There are a number of categories of electronic medical record information and I like to think there are three essentially. There's the information from the patient encounter which essentially is you speaking or examining the patient whether that is you, your medical assistant, nurse practitioner, physician's assistant. The second are information from tests that you specifically ordered. And a third are paper reports from the outside, which could be previous op notes, op reports, or any type of medical information that was faxed into your office or brought in by the patient. It's interesting that there are many features that EMRs have, but in general, here are the main ones. There's the actual note itself, the note that you generate. There are the test results that can be in a separate folder or area of your electronic medical record. There's document management area, which is all those faxes. There's integration with your x-ray, there's prescriptions, there's referrals, and of course there's billing, and there are many other features. But in general, the most time-consuming 
and the most challenging, and no question is making a note. And while a lot of EMR companies will show you all the many features, they tend to be somewhat weak in templates, smart text, and giving you the power to make your note rapidly and effectively. And that's what these tutorials right now are about. So what we're going to do now to start is to begin to develop the note. Notes start with some type of template. In this case, a template can be something as simple as a blank sheet of paper. For all intents and purposes, a blank sheet is a template. So let's start here, and we're going to start now with a simple blank sheet of paper. Now at this point in time, a blank sheet of paper can certainly serve as any kind of template you want. You can take a blank piece of paper, you'll write history of present illness, you'll write physical exam, if you want you can put a chief complaint up here, you can put the assessment here, and you're going to put the plan here. Essentially, you have effectively taken a blank piece of paper and as your base template and you made a note. Interestingly enough, it, you could certainly type this or dictate this using Dragon, but as you can imagine, this would be somewhat tedious if all your templates were blank notes. What we'd like to do uh, to get to the next level is what is the next level of templating? Well, one is a note that would have simple headings as part of your template. And so what we would look at is we would go into the website, OMG EMR, and we could find a template that has this. I'm going to log in. We have over 700 templates in this library. And we're going to log in right here. And I know that there happens to be a template called the Quick Note template. Okay, so of all the hundreds of templates here from the book, we'll look up Quick Note. We'll go Quick. Here it is, and we'll bring this up. <clears throat> now, what you can see, which is quite nice, is that this is a next level of templating. First, we start with a blank note, and then, of course, we ended up going into a note that had some headings. Okay, so you would see that this area right here, chief complaint, physical exam, diagnosis, treatment, comments, plan, you would put your cursor here and then you would either type or dictate into these successive areas. And that is a simple way of doing a template. As you can see, we're beginning to develop the way you can do templates. You can start either with a blank note or you could add something as simple as just having a few headings. That certainly saves you some time. The next video will go into more advanced templating to get to the next level. And you're going to see the many options you can have.